Hi there, welcome to my video on how to use categories in Thinkific to grow your online business. If you didn't already know, categories are a great way to organize your courses into categories. I also like to think of categories as learning paths and or learning journeys. The idea is that when people uh, buy a course from you, they don't want to just buy one course. It's really helpful when you can sell them a journey and a path so that they can continue to grow with you over time. The other advantage of categories is that if you expand your courses and you add more content and you add more collections and uh, knowledge that you can share, then you really have more to offer and you can really grow your online business that way. The other advantage is that when customers usually buy a product, they usually just buy one from you. But the ultimate goal is to get your customers from being one-time customers into repeat customers and even hopefully long-term into like long customers. So that's where categories really come into play. Uh, let's look at my platform and my collection of courses uh, to give you an example. So if this is my uh, landing page and you see that I have eight courses available or seven courses available, but this does not uh, these seven courses do not um, apply or they don't necessarily uh, relate to everyone who is on my list. Uh, for example, my list could be people who are interested in Thinkific and some people who are more interested in job search, um, people who are interested in creating courses or people who are just interested in instructional design. So the idea is that these uh, courses uh, need to be organized into categories as a way to uh, segment and really tailor the experience for each customer. And so uh, what I'm going to do is then show you how to create categories and how I organize uh, my courses into categories uh, to improve and enhance the user experience and to make it easier for uh, new customers to see what courses I have to offer based on the paths that I have created. So uh, let's get started. Uh, log into Thinkific and um, once you log into Thinkific, you'll see this Manage Learning Content tab. Under this tab, there will be many different options. If I choose Categories and click on that, what happens is then I see that there is an All Courses and a Thinkific Course Creators Categories. But what I can think about is like, I have a Thinkific Course Creators Category for all Thinkific related courses, and I can decide from this category which courses will fit into that bundle. And so at the options here, they give me a choice to um, add courses. And so I can add courses that are from this collection. But remember, you can only add courses that are already published. So if the course isn't published, it won't show up on the landing page. So I'm just going to pick uh, this one, this copy, uh, because I know that one's a published one. And then I'll pick the original from that uh, course creation one, because I know that one's published as well. So once that's published, then I want to also add an image. And this image uh, should specifically relate to these bundle of courses. So I'm just going to pick an image, but if you want to know the dimensions, this would be the same um, dimensions as your course card image. And so if I just want to upload one just to show you, just upload an image from my computer, um, pick something and then click on Upload. And then as it uploads now, you can see your category image. Now, in order to make sure that this is saved, you must click on Update so that this category is saved. Once this category is saved, I'm going to go back and I'll see that now uh, I have added two courses uh, to this category. If I want to continue doing that, again, I can continue to replicate that same process and add more categories. Uh, another option to think about in terms of categories is if you have different types of fitness classes and you want to sort of designate like level one, level two, and level three, kind of like a beginner, intermediate, and advanced, uh, this is where categories come in to hand really well because you can have, an, like I could have an intermediate course creator uh, category. And then once I have an intermediate course category, then I can assign uh, intermediate level courses into this category. And then if I know that based 
on the people in my list, then I can send them this URL so that they can sign up for this intermediate course creator path. And the idea here is that um, I'm really, instead of just selling um, one product and one course on the first um, email bus and first launch, I'm really selling them a path. I really want to show my students and show potential customers that we're on a path together where we grow and learn over time. So while I could just sell you one course, I think selling you a learning path and the learning journey really helps them grow and it helps us grow together as a business because I get to learn more about my customer. I get to use this time while they're learning and progressing through these tracks to really understand what their needs are and to gather data to decide, you know, what's next after this intermediate course track? Is there a need for an advanced track or what, you know, might be the next path? So the idea is that these um, selling these bundles and selling these collections really allow us to grow with our audience and grow with the students and help them and um, be with them on their learning journey as well. So I uh, hope this video was helpful. Leave a comment, uh, like, and subscribe if you want to learn more. Thanks again for watching.